Now let me stop you right there, okay? Heaven and hell is only something that you can use on small children and people who are very gullible and people who have bought into the whole Christianity thing and other religions. I mean, some religions don't even believe in heaven and hell. So you can't use heaven and hell on people sometimes. You just have to step back and think kind of logically that if somebody's not religious and doesn't think like you, heaven and hell is not going to persuade them, okay? I'm not a child. It doesn't scare me anymore. Let's see if you are. Have you ever told even one lie? If you have, that makes you a liar. Oh my god, guys, hold on. Fucking revelation right now, okay. Telling lies equals liar. What? Because anything less than the truth, be it a half-truth, fib, white lie, or exaggeration, call it what you will, is nonetheless a lie. Oh my god, I never knew that before. <laughs> my brain's gonna explode from all this new information. If you have ever used God's name in vain even one time, you're a blasphemer and cannot enter God's kingdom. Well, Jesus Christ, I wish I fucking knew that before, God damn it. The Bible says that if you have ever hated anyone, you have murdered them in your heart and God will judge you as a murderer. Oh my God, holy shit. This is some profound stuff right here, okay. Let me think this through. If I hate someone, I pretty much murder them anyways in the eyes of God, so... I just fucking started murdering people. You pissed me off. Bam! You're gone. Hello, and welcome to the Church of Fuck You. I'm St. Patrick. Well, I've done a video before called the Top 5 Reasons People Hate Christians. And while I really like what I said in there, um, the video is of such poor quality that I decided to do it again. And I figure, hell, if I'm going to do it again, I might as well add some more shit to the list. So now, it's the top 10 reasons people hate Christians. Are you ready? I'm going to try to keep this fast because I don't want to have like a 20 minute video. So, let's go. Number 10. Ridiculous proof. Now, we've all seen people or talked to people who say the most ridiculous things as a way that their God, you know, as a proof that their God is real. They'll say shit like, well, who made the trees? Or, you know, who, who made the sun come up? Well, actually, the earth is rotating, and by the time it gets to a certain point, it looks like the sun is rising, but in all actuality, the earth is rotating into the position for you to see the sun. Which brings me to number nine. They completely reject logic. Any logic that you can bring up as far as the, the Bible or Christianity or why there would or wouldn't be a God, they completely ignore it like it doesn't exist because all they have is their faith. It's so irritating to talk to anyone of faith and they completely throw logic out the window because how can you have any conversation without logic? People often point out that they can't help it. They can't help with the anti-gay bullying. It says right there in Leviticus, it says right there in Timothy, it says right there in Romans that being gay is wrong. We can learn to ignore the bullshit in the Bible about gay people. The same way, the same way we have learned to ignore the bullshit in the Bible about shellfish, about slavery, about dinner, about farming, about menstruation, about virginity, about masturbation. We ignore bullshit in the Bible about all sorts of things. The Bible is a radically pro-slavery document. Slave owners waved Bibles over their heads during the Civil War and justified it. The shortest book in the New Testament is a letter from Paul to a Christian slave owner about owning his Christian slave. And Paul doesn't say Christians don't own people. Paul talks about how Christians own people. We ignore what the Bible says about slavery because the Bible got slavery Wrong. <laughs> so you can tell the Bible guys in the hall, they can come back now because I'm done beating up the Bible. <laughs> It's funny as someone who's on the receiving end of beatings that are justified by the Bible, how pansy ass some people react when you push back.
I want to start this video off by mentioning that I have a lot of good friends that actually are atheists. I work with a lot of atheists and I work with a lot of non-believers. Um, I have many friends that I really love and have a lot of respect for that are atheists. So I don't want this to look like I am out to attack atheists because I'm not. I love atheists. And in this video I'm going to try to show you how to see what spirit is operating in people and if we look at the characteristics of Satan we can see that he's proud he hates God, he hates Christians, he hates the truth he misrepresents and twists scripture and he's a liar and if a person is following the spirit of darkness in this world they are going to show the same characteristics and the same traits that Satan does. You're going to see the same thing manifesting in that person. You're going to see that they misrepresent the Bible. They lie about the Bible. They have a strong animosity to Christians, especially to people that preach the truth. And you're going to see this manifest in them. And this is how the spirit world works. Spirit world is invisible, as you know. And human beings will act out messages that come from the spirit world. So, so it depends what spirit you're following, your behavior is going to reflect it. A tree is known by its fruit. A good tree produces good fruit, and an evil tree, tree produces evil fruit. And so you can see people on YouTube and, and in real life, and the way that they talk and the way that they act and their behavior, it shows what spirit they're following. It's really quite simple. And you're going to see patterns forming. And so you can look deeper below the surface and you can look at the root of things. And you're going to see more going on than meets the eye. You're going to see a massive animosity towards believers. And it's all over the world, it's all through the media. This animosity is being promoted. Just like Jesus said it was going to. And we can see that it's happening. Jesus said that you're going to be hated among all nations for my name's sake. And we can see it happening. Plain as day. And like I say, you can see the spirit world manifesting in human beings. And, and this is the evidence of the spirit world, is people's behavior. And so a lot of people don't understand how this works. And they don't understand that the spirit world is not the same as the physical world. Everybody is following a spirit. It's either the spirit, spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, or they're following the spirit of this world, the spirit of darkness. And if they're following the spirit of darkness, they are not going to want to come to the light. And, and John 3.19 tells us this, that, that evil men prefer darkness. And they don't want to come to the light because their deeds are evil. And, and they're quite happy there. They're willingly deceived, it says. So they don't want to come to the light. And you're going to see that they're going to manifest the same characteristics as Satan. And they're following the spirit of darkness, the spirit of this world. And their actions, their words, and their behavior give it away. And it's plain as day to see it. Um, so you have to know what you're looking for. And... They're going to misrepresent things. They're going to lie about Christians. They're going to tell people that, that Christians are bigots and that, you know, we hate people, which is just not true. We don't hate people. I don't hate gay people. It is a sin, according to the Bible. And, you know, that's all you, all that we tell people is, you know, it's a sin and, and you're supposed to turn from it. It doesn't mean we hate you. But then you see all of the media that, you know, we're haters and we're, we're bigots and, you know, just misrepresentation and twisting things around. You know? And so this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a rejection of the truth and excuses why they're rejecting it. That They ha have a list. Almost all non-believers and atheists have this list in their head of why the Bible isn't true and why they don't have to uh, follow it. And, you know, why they're rejecting salvation and why they're rejecting God. And, but you're going to notice at the same time as they reject this, they're living in sin. They're doing wicked things. And, and so you can see what side of the fence they're on. 
they're on the wrong side of the fence and and they this little list they've come up with it's false they say that there's no evidence of the bible but there's all kinds of evidence for the bible there's i've got books on bible archaeology there's so much evidence for the bible you know there's lost cities there's there's uh all kinds of artifacts and all all kinds of sites where they've done archaeology and, and there's just all kinds of evidence for the Bible. It's not proof. I won't say that it's rock solid concrete proof. All evidence can be argued. And, and this is what we see. Like when we find evidence for the stories of the Bible being true, you got some people that can look at it and say, oh, you know, that's pretty supportive of the Bible. You know, that looks like a match. And then you have a whole bunch of atheists and stuff jumping in there and, oh, no, no, it's not. And, you know, it's it's a spiritual battle. Like we are in a spiritual battle right now. And so the main thing I want you to understand is the evidence of the spirit world and the evidence that the Bible is true is people's behavior. It shows that the Bible is telling us the truth. That every man is is following either the spirit of God or the spirit of darkness. And the Bible tells us that we are in a fallen world right now. It's a corrupt, fallen world. And we can see the evidence of this all over the place as well. You can look in the entertainment industry and, and you can see the videos and uh, just the music and the lyrics. It's endless. And, and you can just see this massive animosity rising against the faith and against Christians. And like I say, a massive misrepresentation. Twisting around the truth and focusing on false Christians that, that have done things and hypocrites and putting the spotlight on them and trying to make it look like Christianity is like this when it's not and also I want to add that like all false religion comes from the same source which is Satan and this is why you can see through history and, and even in the last couple of years you can see that, that, that the Hinduists people into Hinduism have been murdering Christians Muslims have been murdering Christians. Buddhists. All the false religions are mounting together and join, joining together. They all see it the same way. They all have the same source. And they all hate Christianity. And it's just like back when Cain killed Abel. It's the same spiritual dynamics at work. It says that Cain killed Abel because his own works were evil and Abel's were righteous. And so you see this pattern, and, and this is why you get a lot of that you're holier than thou and you're judging me. They, they confuse um, being judged with telling them what the Bible says. What's actually happening is, is the Word of God is judging them. And Jesus even said, the world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify that its deeds are evil. And the, its deeds are evil. The world's deeds are evil. And people do not want to come to the light because they prefer darkness and they prefer evil. People want to write their own rules. And so if you know what to look for, you're going to see this manifesting in people, in their behavior, and even a wild lifestyle, and different things like this, and, and sin. And, and, you know, the entertainment industry and Hollywood and the media, they promote sin. And at the same time as they promote sin, they promote why it's logical and reasonable to disobey God and reject his word and, and don't listen to it. And, and, you know, this is exactly what Satan wants. Satan wants you to reject the truth and live in sin. If you do these two things, you are going to hell. And, you know, then that brings to the next subject is of heaven and hell. And they say, well, you don't know that heaven and hell exists. And they, like I say, they go back to this list that they have in their head, these excuses for sin and evil that they have in their head. And that's exactly what it is. When you get to the bottom of it, you're going to find out that that's what it is. They don't want to turn from evil. They want to write their own rules. Um, and so now on the subject of heaven and hell, like Jesus told us that heaven and hell exist. And now if... The four Gospels are telling the truth, and Jesus actually did come to earth and did these things, and healed the sick, and did these miracles, and walked on water, and changed water to wine, and even rose from the grave after three days, and came back to life. If all these things happened, then something much bigger is going on than just another man-made religion. You see, this is one another tactic that Satan does, is he tries to make you think that all religion is the same. That all the religions are the same, and you know, Christianity and the true faith are just the same, and you know. And so they throw out all religion, they try to badmouth all religion, and uh, it's a tactic. 
that the devil uses. He wants everyone confused. And so you have people that just throw up their hands in the air and they can't make any sense of it and it all looks crazy. And Because a lot of the false religion is crazy. It doesn't make sense. And then they see people in Christianity fighting with each other. And this is over doctrine. And because Christianity is being attacked from the inside out as well. We have false brethren, false prophets inside attacking it from the inside out. So Christianity and the true faith is being attacked from all sides. From all sides. From fake Christians, from hypocrites, and also from non-believers and, you know, the media. And it's just, it's coming in from all sides and the animosity is rising. It's getting worse and worse every day. And so you can see that the spiritual warfare is real. And this is why, I mean, uh, the world is turning against Christians and we knew this was going to happen. And Jesus told us this is going to happen. And so if Jesus came to earth and the four Gospels are telling the truth, then they can say something bigger is going on, but it also means that Jesus is telling the truth and that heaven and hell is real and Jesus does not lie. He would never lie to us. And if he said that hell exists and heaven exists, even though we can't see it, you can bet your life that heaven and hell do exist. You can bet your life on it. But these people don't want to. They, they don't want to answer to God's word. They don't want to listen to it. They don't want to obey it. So like I say, they turn to the excuses. And so you see these videos all over the internet. And, and it's misrepresenting Christians. And, and you know, like, like I say, making us look hateful. Making us look like we hate everybody. And we're bigots. And This is their goal. They're trying to justify the rejection of God. And rejecting his word. So they need excuses. They, they can't use the truth. They have to make, misrepresent and lie about it. And this is exactly what the demons are, are. Demons and Satan want people to do. And so people following the wrong spirit are going to relay these lies in the physical world. They're going to. Uh, it's like you have the movie, movie producers. And. They're following the wrong spirit, the spirit of darkness. So in their movies, it comes out in the movies, they're promoting sin and promoting rejecting God. And they're doing their work while under the control and while following the spirit of darkness. And this is why the movies are so corrupt. And same thing in the music industry. You have all these puppets. And Satan is like a big puppet master. And, and people that are willing to follow his spirit are going to be under his spell and they're going to do his work. And you're going to see, like... Famous celebrities promoting sin, promoting rejection of God. You know, Madonna, Lady Gaga, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, you know, Jay-Z, Rihanna, Beyonce. If you look below the surface, you're going to see these people are puppets. And something bigger is going on below the surface. You've got to understand how this works. They're following the spirit of darkness and they're relaying demonic lies. They come from the spirit world. Not to mention the occult symbols and all the, uh, the symbolism and images that they promote. The sexual images trying to promote lust. And this is just like pornography. It's the same thing. It's all coming from the same source. It's all coming from Satan. He's trying to corrupt people and, you know, corrupt your morals, corrupt your values. Get you to follow the spirit of darkness. Get you to sin. Get you to reject God. And make, make you think that it's justified. And so you got all these atheist websites trying to, you know, show you why the Bible's not true and why, you know, they say it contradicts itself. It doesn't. This information has come from atheist websites, people that don't understand the Word of God and have not investigated it honestly. Instead of finding the real reasons why, if something confuses them, and instead of handling it the right way and investigating it properly, they don't. They jump to conclusions because they don't want it to be true. They aren't seeking truth. They don't want the truth. And so you can see the evil manifests in them. And so like I say, they've got this list of excuses in their head. But at the same time, they're, they're living wicked lives. They're living in sin. They're living evil. They're doing sin and they're rejecting God. And this is exactly what Satan wants them to do. And this is a dead giveaway that they fall in the spirit of darkness. You know, and the devil has all kinds of lies waiting for them that they follow. And New Age teachings. And, and you know, they can be godlike and... It goes on and on. You can investigate New Age teachings and why they're opposed to Christianity and opposed to God. They're satanic. And it's so 
popular these days. It's so common. You see all these evil influences. You see the tarot cards, the fortune telling, the horoscopes, you know, seances, channeling. All this corruption and all, all these people following the evil spirits and, and evil manifesting in their lives while they've got this list of excuses that doesn't make sense and, and it won't hold weight. It won't hold weight on Judgment Day. Judgment Day is coming too. Jesus has told us that Judgment Day is coming. It's going to come. And like I say, if Jesus came to earth and did all those things, then Jesus is telling the truth and the Bible is true. And their case collapses. The case completely folds. completely collapses. All those excuses are just toast. Done. If Jesus did all those things and came to earth, like he said, it means he's telling the truth about all this. Everything he said is the truth. And so this is what I mean. Like, and You know, this happened 2,000 years ago, so how can they be so positive that this stuff did not happen? It doesn't matter if it's logical or not. See, this is the thing. A miracle is never logical for a human being to accept that a miracle can happen. A miracle does not fit in human logic. And these people are trying to say that, you know, since a miracle doesn't make sense and isn't logical, therefore it did, never, it did not happen. This is basically their argument, you know, um, but they aren't sure that a miracle has never happened and that Jesus didn't do those things. So I, I, I just hope that you can see the connection and, and see how this works. And, and the spirit world is the spirit world, and the physical world is the physical world. They're two different dimensions. You can't test for the spirit world using physical evidence. You know, you can't do, you use like test tubes and microscopes and, and things like that and, and find God or the spirit world exists outside of our five senses. It's just like your thoughts. You, you can't see your thoughts, but by a person's behavior, you can see what they were thinking by the way that they're living their lives and the way they're acting it out. And the things that they do and the things they say shows what's going on in their brain. And it works just like this. And this is how God separates the righteous from the wicked. Your behavior in this life and the, the way that you live your life it counts. It's very important, the spirit that you're following in this world. And if you're following the Holy Spirit, you're going to turn from sin. You're going to repent. And you're going to do your best to turn from sin. And you're going to start bearing good fruit. And the good fruit is opposite of the evil fruit. Instead of being greedy, you're, you're going to be generous. Instead of being selfish, you're going to be selfless. So anyways, I, I hope this helps. And... Uh, Try to look deeper below the surface of the things going on, the things going around in the world. It's a fallen, corrupt world. There's demonic activity. There's the Evil spirits are manifesting in people, and people are following the spirit of darkness. And this spirit is opposed to Christianity and opposed to preachers and opposed to born-again believers. You know, And this is one of the reasons why I get so much animosity on my channel. It's always getting attacked from all sides. You know, and I got false brethren attacking my channel too. People that call themselves Christians and promoting false doctrines and, and attacking my channel as well. And it's just part of it. It just goes with the territory. This is just uh, part of the course, you know. Jesus told us this is going to happen and, and sure enough it's happening. So all I can say is like try to wake up, look deeper below the surface at things going on. And trust me, the Bible is true. And you can message me if you want to talk about anything. And God bless you. And I hope that this helps to open your eyes a little bit. Thanks for watching. Yo!